This is the story of a man named Stanley. All right. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. Yep. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Mm -hmm. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, mm -hmm. telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in. I mean, depends how much they're paying you. made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. About 30, and 40 bucks day, an hour? something very peculiar I, I happened. I could do that. Something that would forever change Stanley. Mm -hmm. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Ooh, we get to step out of our office. Okay. Oh, no, can't, can't go in there. Hello? No, 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 no other employees. Yo. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Um, hmm. When no. Stanley came to a set of two Ooh. open doors, he entered the door on his left. Uh, you know, does he? Does he, though? What if I enter the door on my right? Hmm. I don't know if I should trust this narrator, but I'm biased against him from things I've heard, so maybe there's no reason not to trust him yet. No, no in-game reason. And... Although I have a feeling it might have been funnier. Yet there was not a single person here either. Mm -hmm. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Let it ball up inside you. Take it out passive aggressively on a. Oh, damn it! Let's make sure employees that everything is okay. Make sure they think we're glad they can have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. That's good. Uh huh. Uh huh. Everyone is unique. You, most of all. <laughs> Oh, uh, okay. Synergize core value expenditure shift global market paradigm monetize free to play. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, that's that's definitely a thing that room closet. What? Why am I getting a translation overlay for English? Why? Why? Hello, Autumn Jester, three ninety nine. Welcome, welcome. Stanley I've... stepped into the oh. broom closet, oh. but there was nothing here, right? so he turned around and got back on track. Ah, uh, but is there nothing here? I mean, there are things here. There was nothing here. No choice to make. No path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. Have I ever seen the no game before? To still be here. Um, I've seen 
Like, I think I've seen like the first minute of it. It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. Okay, narrator. He wasn't even doing anything. Thank you. At least if there was something to interact with, off. he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there. Okay, doing sweet narrator. FA. Thank you. Thank you. Um. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Mm. No, it's too late. I've, I've, I already left the closet. Uh Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk yeah. guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. Mm -hmm. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 2845. Oh. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley <laughs> happened to input the correct code. Yes, by incredibly. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. ...of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Mm. Oh. Glad that waited till I got down to... Uh, Rob, I don't hate the narrator yet. I mean, I hated him for annoying me about the broom. Stanley walked straight ahead Closet. through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Oh, okay. Escape. Oh, come on! Escape or Mind Control Facility? <laughs> okay, here's where I'm, I'm not listening to the narrator. I'm... I'm not going into the mind control facility. No way. Escape. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm going to regret it, huh? Well, I'm going to need to regret it. The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around huh? and get back on track. Right? Yeah, At he this does. Point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. Right? Right? What? It just drops. It just drops. I have to know. <laughs> hey. Hey. As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, he reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. True. Stanley True. can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. And so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. No, let me out! Stanley. Let me out! No! <laughs> I don't willingly accept it! Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley what? was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. What? What? I didn't squish. I didn't squish. <laughs> A 
and yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. What Do you the see now? Fuck? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? What the shit? It's, it's the end of the game. <laughs> okay. What? End up on a battlefield fighting, fighting aliens, dashing, blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Far too joking on the nose for the tone of the game. Plus, some people interpreted it as making fun of people who like shooters, which was not our intention. Okay. I mean, clearly the game is self aware. Yes. I'm just kind of exploring right now. All right, here we All go again. All his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Maybe this time I'll stay in the room. When Stanley closet. came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. All right, narrator, I'm going to listen to you again this time. I really want to Yet go through the door on the right, person though. person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Hope oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Not again. I won't be part of this. I'm not going to encourage you. I'm not going to say anything at all. I'm just going to be patient and wait for you to finish whatever it is you enjoy doing so much in this room. Please take your time. <laughs> I'm out. I'm in. I'm out. I'm in. Well, nothing appears to be happening. And, and I don't really have the patience to stand in this bloom, bloom, broom closet for too much longer. So, now wait 24 hours and 10 years. Yeah. Okay. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Wait, what if you go up? I don't... Can you? Whoops. Nope. Uh, never mind. Stanley actually got back into the elevator and went <laughs> back up. Silly me. <laughs> Why did Stanley do that when he ah. knew that it would just lead back to his boss's office? Well, that's a great question. I just can't wait to find out. You know, I appreciate that little bit of backseat gaming there because it hadn't occurred to me and Well, hmm. Here we are, Stanley. It's your boss's office. Exactly the way it was before you got onto the elevator. Mm -hmm. It's still just exactly what it is. Mm -hmm. What a decision you've made to come up here and look at the office again. 
This has fleshed out the plot of the story in new and fascinating ways I could have never anticipated. It's that keen eye for storytelling that you have, an incisive rapid fire of critical plot points, Listen. one after the other, weaving a rich tapestry of uncompromising oh. narrative. Wow. Okay. I'm bolted but, to the edge of my seat. But, but it was Autumn Jester in my chat that it wasn't me. It's it's Jester's lame-ass storytelling, not mine. Now he's getting back into the <laughs> elevator and going down again. Ladies and gentlemen, how does he keep coming up with all of this? Oh no, I'm gonna make sure the narrator knows who's at fault. <laughs> Surely this time Stanley will walk forward into the spooky corridor, won't he? Stanley walked straight ahead through yes, the large door that yes, read Mind will. Control Facility. And we know that that's not an escape. Fine, Mind Control Facility. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. Ooh. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley Ooh. thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? I think he does. An escape, it's kind of an escape, like from reality. I mean, okay. Now the monitors jumped to life. Their true Ooh, nature revealed. Each yeah. bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And yeah. Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Mm hmm I mean, again, if they're paying like 30 bucks an hour. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Mm -hmm. Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? I mean, sounds pretty cool. No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. I his believe. own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad Ooh. or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. Ooh. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Oh, uh, will he now? I, I don't know that he will. Facility power. Mind control idle awaiting input. Clearly, I don't need that. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, mm -hmm. to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Mm. Seems all too easy, though. That's, that's just... I'm suspicious. Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Mm -hmm. Was it over? It's not over. Yes! He had won! He oh. had defeated the machine! No, Stanley. Unshackled himself from you someone else's won. command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? 
But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. Yeah. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, mm. or how to feel. Right. Whatever it's life it's he lives, narrator. it will be his. <laughs> and that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. All right, guys. Well, uh, thanks. Thanks for coming. Stanley you felt know, the I... cool breeze. Wow, I beat this skin. game really quick. Huh? The feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. Mm -hmm. This was exactly the way, mm -hmm. right now, that things were meant to happen. Mm -hmm. And Stanley was happy. Does somebody push the happy button? <laughs> And <laughs> here we go again. Okay, so that was the happy ending. They're over there debating whether Stanley's wife Stanley is real. Came to a set of two okay. open doors, he entered the door on his left. Finally, this time I will defy the narrator. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. That's right. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Yeah. Yeah, we'll we'll uh we'll admire that employee lounge. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just yep. to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Ah, uh, uh, drinking it all in because yeah. Yeah. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Mm -hmm. Ooh. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Uh, or? Or? There's a different elevator. But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now in order to get back, he needed to go, um, uh, uh da, 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 da. from here, it's, um, left. Oh, no, no, it's to the right, my mistake. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> no, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? It's clearly... Oh dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? Oh my god. Now, let's see. We went down right, left, down, left, right. Yep, yep, okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. Mm-hmm. Oh. No, 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay, 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 okay. We just, we just have to get back to, um, oh. Who am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. No. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay, from the top. No, oh, bastard. <laughs> when Stan... Wait. Wait. Wait, what? No, I... Son of no, a... I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over, completely fresh. Everything should be... Oh, did something change? Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Did you move the story somewhere or... Uh... Hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. It was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay, then. It's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Let's find the story. 
Mm-hmm. Just wandering aimlessly. Oh. Oh. Oh, nice. Okay. <laughs> All right. A little bit of mind fuckery there. I, I can dig it. I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you there definitely was a story here before. Do we just... Do we need to restart the game again? Oh, no. Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again, but it's got to be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> not again. All of his co-workers were gone. Right. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Uh-huh. Miss, miss the memo. Right. Okay, yep, it's worse. Uh, I might be remembering uh, this uh, wrong. Uh, it's possible the story is back where we just came from. Uh, Why don't we go back the other direction uh, and see if we missed anything? Mm hmm. Well, I'm not finding the story. It's kind of the same shit. Aha! I knew we'd miss something. The uh, story. Here it comes. Oh? No, wait. Never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. Okay. I'm already lost, but okay. Oh boy. Now this, well, I'll be honest, I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It, is that correct? Hmm. Do you remember, Stanley? Well, do you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! Congratulations! <laughs> okay, all right. I know you put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off. So, good job. Oh, no. No, I don't feel right about this at all. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Okay, I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time, I have to restart. Oh. All right, I've got a solution. <laughs> this time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Okay. Just follow the line. How simple is that? Okay. We'll just follow the line then. In before the line does something wacky. You see, the line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Mm. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Yeah, yeah. Now, here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination well, still a story? Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. That got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. Oh, boy. Uh, I have the music disabled. Suck it, narrator. I'm tired of my YouTube videos getting copyright striked for in-game music. That's dumb. No music. Suck it, narrator. <laughs> Wait, what? We're back at the office? No. 
Oh, no. Line, you do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story? Is any of this ringing a bell? Oh, no, 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 not again. Line, how could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, after everything we've been through, you... Oh, I can't take this anymore. To hell with it. Restart. <laughs> it's the line again. Do we trust the line? Again? You know what, Stanley? I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent people, right? Okay. Why can't we make up our own story? All Something right. Something exciting, daring, mysterious. All. This all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in... Well, I don't know. How about this direction? Okay. Why not? Now. Yes, this is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? Go wild. Use your imagination. Whatever it might be, Stanley, I'm ready for it. Oh, no, not you again. <laughs> Stanley, I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it, and we should be fine. I seem to be following the line, though. Oh, maybe not. Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. Okay. From here, the story is in our control. Yeah. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Oh, okay. my, oh my so God. So I know that each door has to lead somewhere, mm -hmm. which means that somewhere, the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. Mm -hmm. And that, in turn, means mm -hmm. that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going. And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. Okay. Oh, hold up. What's this? Hmm. Hmm. The confusion ending. You're telling me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending? And we're supposed to restart the game eight, eight times? <laughs> That's really how all this goes? It's all determined? So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this, this thing, wall. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really... No, it can't be. I, d I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. And the time return stopped? Does that mean... Um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The, um, okay. whatever it is that made this schedule? Okay. How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? So. Oh my god. Okay. Both doors led here. <sighs> I guess now we just wait. You know, I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story. Wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. Oh, so God. I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Yeah. Eventually. Yeah. Well, yeah. in the meantime, if you... Oh, no, what? No! <laughs>